Hi, my name's Scott and welcome to Technically Speaking. Today we're back at Castle Hill Performance looking over their turbocharged LS powered VT streetcar. So being around a 400 cubic inch turbocharged V8 using a GT55 turbo, as well as a small tired car, the power delivery on, on this whole setup is critical. So Dale's opted for a two speed power glide. Uh, that allows them to use the right ratios to get that small tire to actually launch at the racetrack. Now, we use three power delivery methods with our Elite 2500 on this car to keep it consistent and, and to keep it going straight. Now, those three power delivery methods include timed boost control, trans brake system or our, our creep system, as well as using time-based ignition control. When we take this car drag racing, the first part of drag racing is staging up to the signaling lights, so the, the Christmas tree it's sometimes called. The first thing that we need to do is to get the car staging up with enough horsepower to actually leave the line. So we roll in or we, we, we come into the first staging light, we apply the brakes heavily and hold down what we call the line lock button. Now, the line lock button allows us to hold brake, front brake pressure using the line lock solenoid, which we can see here. Now, as we press that button, it also enables an input into the Elite 2500 ECU, which then outputs a function to the gearbox. Now, this gearbox is a gearbox solenoid in here, which actually allows us to, to lock first and reverse gear. This allows us to, to have full engine power. The car doesn't go forwards or reverse because the gearbox is locked. Once we press another button on the steering wheel, an input into the ECU triggers and allows the car to bump or creep forward, allowing us to go into what we call full stage, where both lights on the Christmas tree are lit up and then we're ready to race. Now that we're hurdling down the racetrack after we've let go of our line lock function, after we've pressed our bump box function, the ECU now knows that the car has actually started traveling forward. Now, a timer starts in the engine management system, which allows us to control our closed loop boost control off that timer. That means that we can start the race with a low boost pressure of six to eight PSI of our target boost pressure. As the car picks up wheel speed, we want to apply more and more and more boost pressure because the small tire can handle it and that way we can get as much mile an hour in the top end as we possibly can. While the Elite is doing the closed loop boost control versus time, it's actually also doing the ignition timing versus time. So that same timer is also used to do our ignition control. Now, what we're actually doing there is when we launch the car, the tires on this thing are so small that we need to reduce the horsepower by so much, we actually need to impact the ignition or impact the tune. So we retard the ignition timing so that it's less, at, a, at a less than optimal point. Over time, we'll slowly introduce that ignition timing back in. So the engine's making peak horsepower at about half track and then allowing us to make the most horsepower we possibly can as the tire can handle it. This car's also equipped with the Haltech TCA4 boxes. Now, there's two of these boxes allowing us to have eight individual exhaust gas temperature sensors. Now, like we've seen in previous episodes, the exhaust gas temperature sensors allow us to measure the exact gas temperature of each cylinder to make sure that they're all equal. Now, if each cylinder is not equal, you're not at the optimum power level. So the Elite 2500 allows us to look at each individual cylinder and do a 3D map on each individual cylinder to make sure the engine is running at its optimum. This car is a really great example of what the Elite 2500 can do. We're doing our time-based ignition control, our bump boxing, we've got direct fire ignition, we're running 16 injectors. Uh, we've got so much stuff going on and we've only just scratched the surface. That's all we've got time for today. Don't forget to keep an eye on the website for future videos, including one on our bump or, or creep strategy that we'll be going into a lot more detail with. As always, don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. My name's Scott and thanks for watching.